Vic, you're a SEAL officer candidate at the time. How yep. many other O's were in the course with you? So we started with 27 officers. 27 and, officers? Yeah, we started with 27 of them, and I was number five in the chain of command. And so we started, we classed up in January, and the OIC was doing fine, and then he got hurt. Then the next dude up was Tom Story, a dude I wrestled with, great dude, and his shoulders were coming out. So, like, in the course of about two weeks, we got down to the guy above me, right? So there was me, the guy above me, and then there was another guy. And I knew the guy right above me wasn't going to make it. Like, I knew, like, like he just wasn't going to make it. And so I got prepared because I knew what was going to happen, right? Like, we call it shotgun leadership, right? Like, the dude gets shot with a shotgun. That means you in charge. So – I knew it was coming, so I had time to prepare, and then boom, um, the OIC had to go to medical, and then they put my dude in charge, and it was like, he got up there, he had to give a muster, and it was like, oh, la, 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 la. and they were like, there's like six instructors on him, and I'm standing right behind him, because I'm the number two now, and I'm like, man, this ain't going well, and so then... He tried to get a muster for maybe 20 seconds, man. He started shaking real bad. And you know them stress. You've seen it. That stress gets you. So he folded. <laughs> it was hilarious, man. They just put their – the instructors put their arm around him. He's a little short dude. And they're like, hey, come with me, man. Come with me. And they walked off. And as soon as they got around the corner, uh, the instructors turned to me and says, give us a muster. And it's so your I turn around and I gave him, I did, I do, I take muster differently, right? I don't, if you're, if you're president and accounted for, you just sit down. So then I know to count, like I got 175 guys. Then I just go down the boat cruise and I say, Who, who's missing? You know, and they give me the two people and I subtract them from 175. I'm at 173. So I turned around and gave them a muster in like 15 seconds. And they were like, that ain't right. I'm like, that's right. You know, that's the muster. And they're like, do it again. Turn around. Turn back around, 173. So they lined up my class, and there was 173 sitting there. It's so, funny you bring that up, Jake, because that is the primary purpose of a team leader, right? To have yep. accountability and make sure that all your guys are present and accounted for and know where they're at, right? So they they just need somebody who can do that one responsibility. You had your opportunity. You step up, and then they challenge you. They just say, "Hey, man, you sure about that?" And you said, "Yeah, I'm sure about that." They check it again. You did it. So good on you, Jake. Yeah, and so then I tell people, man, like I I was fortunate enough to go to Buds with a bunch of gorillas. Okay, a bunch of knuckle dragging ass tough dudes. Two of them I played football with. We had, like, a couple dudes from the Naval Academy, Ryan Angle, a bunch of great dudes, man. And so, like, we weren't scared of physical beatings, so we broke the instructors that first week. Like, we would just, like, everybody in my class would go to the beating. So a beating in SEAL training is, like, if you do something wrong, they take you on the beach and they work you out. And, you know, this is the 90s. There wasn't no limit. You could be out there for four hours. But my big deal was, cool, let's work out. We have buds. Like, all you're going to do, I used to yell at the instructors, like, hey, man, keep it up, bud, because all you're doing is making me stronger today so that, that way tomorrow we can be out here a little bit longer. Like, just let's keep, hey, man, you got some more for us, right? And so eventually the instructors gave up. They were like, yo, you, you can't beat those dudes. So then we never got beat again. We didn't get beat again the rest of training. Now, I'm the OIC, and I'm loud, and then I'm going to do good and whatever I got to do. So I took a lot of lumps. But, you know, we crushed it as a class. We ended up graduating 21 dudes at the end. Man, that